Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another day of the video diary. How's it going today? Today, I'm, um, it's the night time. We're about to go to bed and I'm just starting my video because that's the way I roll. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick drink though before I do because I will I do sleep to sleep and get a bit thirsty and I'll wake up again, you know? So today was a day where I was waking up early. I woke up at, well I set my alarm for past six, didn't get out of bed till quarter to six because I pressed the wrong snooze button. Uh, because tomorrow I'm getting up at half past five. Um, so that I can get up early enough and drive to Bath for my exam. Um, so I got up, finished off the revision I was doing for tomorrow's exam. Um, we had breakfast, we had lovely, I was going almost very nearly the rock vlog. We had like pancakes and stuff this morning, which was really, really good, different, and really, really nice as well. We had um, orange and lemon and sugar and chocolate and um, that kind of thing. Um, it was really good. Which is really nice and different. It was Laura's idea. Um, credit my credit's due. <laughs> and um, yeah, had that, and then I went off and finished finished the re revision I needed to do, and then I started revising for my exam on Wednesday. Uh, so after that, we then came in here, like had a little bit of lunch. We had it was quite a late breakfast because um, I got up early, but Laura didn't. Um, we had like a little bit of thing where I had celery and um, salsa from when we had fajitas the other day and um, just like a bit of fruit and stuff um, and then we headed out because today we headed on out to go and get a hamster cage now we have a hamster cage without a hamster in it fucking expensive as well to get all the stuff we needed to get but we've got this great big fuck off cage thing here and we had to go back twice as well because we didn't have enough of these white connector things for the tubes which was really weird um, but yeah, so we've got like a little, it's got a little tube here. It'll run around there, all the way up there. It's got a little bed. We're thinking about upgrading this bed though. We don't really, we don't like it. We'll see if he likes it. Or she. <laughs> he doesn't exist yet. See if they like it. Um, but then we might get them a more cosy looking bed instead of like that plastic one. Little food bowl. Little, tiny little water bottle thing. I'm not 100% convinced about this water bottle. It's way too small. I'd rather just put one on the outside of it. And then you'll be able to put it there or whatever. Um, it's got a little wheel inside little ladder oh it's well exciting we've got him a little ball as well down there for him to play with um and then we also got him a a little runner ball there which you can take out and it runs around the floor and then we've got like sawdust and stuff here there as well we've got like a couple more um nibbly blocks for them to play with and stuff and like little treats so it's really exciting we almost well we had to go back like i say to get um to get more pieces because they not put enough in the box um but then we went there and they were just like, I want to take it out of another box. So that's obviously what's happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we got, the, we got it back, set everything up, happy days. We almost bought one today, but we're like, no, we're going to stay strong until at least Wednesday or Friday um, or Saturday. So we're going to see what we can do. So I'm going to be honest, like, stuff is, otherwise, apart from that, uh, came back, watched a bit of, um, what do we do? Came back from there, got that all set up. Uh, Laura did some exercises, I did some more revision, doing intelligent agent stuff um, and then when I'd finished um, that we had dinner, we had like a nice roast beef joint which was gorgeous, Laura like perfected her roast potatoes and then we had veg with it, it was delish, we had some really nice gravy as well because we didn't like just half arse it, we did it properly, um, so good stuff <laughs> and then I sorted out my bags and things for tomorrow and sorted out my revision, just like had a glass glance over everything that's going on tomorrow. Um, I'm taking it with me tomorrow as well, so I can obviously have a look at it as well. But otherwise, that's everything. That's the plan, Stan. However, tomorrow is gonna to be a strange day because we're gonna be driving to Bath in the morning. My exam's at half past nine. I can't miss it. We don't think it's gonna be icy, which is good. Uh, although my car's parked where I won't have to deal with any ice. Um, <laughs> I've deliberately moved my car so it, just in case it is icy I'm not going to get stuck at the bottom of a hill um, so we're going to be heading over to Bath tomorrow I'm going to be leaving here at half past six in the morning A because that's when BBC Radio 2 starts Chris Evans should be back and B because it gives me lots and lots of time um, to get there to dodge ice if there's ice to dodge traffic if there's traffic um, and all that kind of good stuff also if I break down for some reason then I have time to get a taxi and arrange other things without it being too stressful. As soon as I'm on campus, I can relax and um, just like do some stuff. i probably write a blog, because that's what I was doing last time. Um, write a blog before coming thingy. So 
after the exam, I'm going to be coming back and go taking my car to a garage. So I'm not going to be going to Sainsbury's tonight, we're going to be Morrison's up the road. Um, but we're going to be taking my car to a garage because the wheel doesn't sound like it's getting much better. It now seems to like do the grinding noise when you turn right as well. Um, I think it does it sometimes, but then also there's a clicking noise now where it like clicks a little bit when you hit bumps or go over bumps and it wasn't doing that before. So I'm quite terrified of it to be honest with you, um, obviously wheels are quite important. Um, so I'm going to be, after the exam I'm going to be ringing up a garage that I've heard is good. Obviously, because my plan was to take it to the garage after all of my exams, it doesn't look like well, I'm terrified of it not actually making that. Uh, from after tomorrow, none of my exams are that important. Like, they're important, but they're at one o'clock in the afternoon or they're at half past four in the afternoon. So it's it's easy to get there. I can just get a train or I can bust down to the town centre to get a train or whatever. There are many different options. However, um, I don't have that option tomorrow. So I'm hoping my car gets me there tomorrow and then I'm hoping to be able to get it all the way back to Bristol so that I can take it to a garage um, to get them to fix it and then hopefully I can get it back on before Wednesday, preferably, but if I don't then it doesn't really matter. Um, I've got like an itinerary of all the things that we changed on it from the MOT, which I believe is what's going to have caused it, um, so it should like help diagnose the problem. Um, it's got to be something to do with the suspension, or the way the wheel's been put on, I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like we it would have been spotted beforehand. It's really weird because like we've obviously put on new stuff, like we've put on a new wheel, we've put on a new brake, we've put on a new suspension rod and it's broken, and like something's broken. So I don't know, it must be one of those three things that have broken it, because otherwise we'd have noticed that like a joint was rusting or shit or whatever, I don't know. Um, so there's that. Essentially tomorrow I need good luck, not only for my exam, but for getting there. Um, but yeah, hopefully I should be able to fix it. It means we're not going to be able to go to St. Bruce to go shopping, we're going to have to go to Morrison's. <laughs> life saving, life changing. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be weird. It's going to be a weird day. I've also got to try and fit in, like the garage I'm going to has been recommended to me by two people now, one person on the vlogs and Lewis um, from last year when his car broke, he took it there and he said they were really good. So I'm going to be taking it there. The problem is it's a long way away. Um, it's a good, decent walk. Um, and it's going to be a case of where I go, I take the car there, then I walk into town and bus back out so that I can do some work in the afternoon. But yeah, so it's going to be a weird day tomorrow. It's going to be a fun day. It's probably going to be a long vlog. I'm going to take a spare battery. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Um, I'm going to go to bed uh, because I need to get some sleep because I'm up early. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm feeling prepared for tomorrow with the exception of the fact that I might not be prepared because I might be in a ditch somewhere. But <laughs> we'll be fine. I mean, the worst that can happen is I could lose my front left wheel at... 50 miles an hour. That's <laughs> the worst. No. Um, it'll be fine. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Come back tomorrow to find out how I get on, and I'll catch you later.